Hey guys, what is going on? It's Avatarvin here. And welcome to another episode of Storytime with Avatarvin. And we're going to be talking about when things go wrong. This was, this happened, I want to say, freshman, maybe sophomore year. I think it was freshman year, but I could be wrong of high school. So, you know, probably like 16, like 15 or 16, I would say I was at the time. And right now I'm 17. Just to give you perspective. But basically what happened was um, I had a couple friends come over after school because I think the plan was originally they were all going to sleep over my house and we were you know, just going to have a good time. And what happened was um, we had like these standardized tests or something that was going on and it didn't apply to us. So basically what happened was we got out of school early. You know, long story short, we got out of school, I want to say around noon. And my house, like I walk to school every day. So the school's in walking distance for me. And basically you could either like sit at the school all day until like two o'clock, which is when school ends or you could you know get a ride and you know a lot of my friends weren't able to get a ride so i'm like hey you know you can just walk home walk home with me to my house so that's what we did and i want to say let's see how many people did we have we had myself we had zach nick jacob and noah so we had in total five people including myself coming over so we were walking home right now we got to my house we were just chilling out for a bit and then we decided to head out and get some subway so you know we got our money we walked down. It, it wasn't too far away. Like um, subway's relatively close to my house. Like it's within walking distance, maybe like a 20, 30 minute. Probably not 30 minute, but more like a 20 minute walk, I would say, um, to subway. We headed down there. We got some food. I think Tom, Thomas was also there too. I remember Thomas. I think Robert was there too. But anyway, um, so we got there. We were getting some subs. We ate there. We also ate on the way back. We also stopped by the gas station, got some you know energy drinks and whatnot. Drinking those on the way home as well. We got home. You know we ha we finished all our food and whatnot. And basically, some other kids in the neighborhood. Um, Matt, I, I talked about him in uh, another video. Matt, um, I think Josh, a couple other people. But just basically, they they came over you know to our house. And they were like all geared up. They had the BB guns and shit. They were like ready for war and shit. And, you know, I was downstairs, you know, chilling with some of the guys. And, you know, some, some people were upstairs as well. And, you know, they're talking about, you know, shit. I, I walk up, you know, I'm seeing what's going on over here. And basically, like, we're talking about, oh shit, like, like we're talking about war and stuff, like BB gun war and whatever. And we didn't have a bunch of BB guns. Like, I had one BB gun that was in my garage. It was just like, uh, um, like a, se a semi-automatic or whatever. It wasn't a semi-automatic. It was just like a, a single shotgun. Like you, you shoot it once and you have to cock it back. And you shoot again. It was a pretty shitty um, BB gun, but that's the only one I really had. We just you know, used it occasionally. We would head over people's houses. We had like little like capture the flag and stuff. We would do. And so you know, basically what happened was that got pulled out. It was like on top of like my fridge in the garage. People pulled that out. And you know, shit was going down and whatnot. They, they they ended up leaving, and the gun was left out. And um, <laughs> what happened here was things got out of hand pretty quick from from that point once the gun was out. So things got out of hand, and I don't remember what caused this to happen. But basically, Nick um, was like hunting down Noah. I don't know why. I think Noah pissed him off or something. But he was like he was hunting him down. Like we all thought he was joking and shit, right? You know, you just oh you chased him with the gun. You know, Noah's running around the house, like, you know, going climbing over the fence and shit. You know, he's just running around the house like, you know, he's being hunted and shit. So it's pretty funny. And what happened was, um, apparently Nick was being serious. I don't know why, but um, we all thought he was just joking around chasing him and whatnot, having some, having a good time. And Nick ended up like he started camping in a corner of uh, my garage because we had like a bunch of shit in the garage right so we had like a bunch of um, like lawnmowers you know chairs stuff like that and he was like hiding behind all this stuff in the back of my garage and Noah was like running around the house trying to like avoid Nick he uh, opens the door to my garage he's walking in right and uh, basically what happened was Nick was being serious apparently and he just decided that you know, even though like I, I think Noah pulled out like a mallet or something this was actually no, that was afterwards. I'm getting ahead of myself. So what happened was Nick's like camping in the corner of my garage, and you know Noah walks in, 
and he didn't he, he didn't realize he was there and it was probably a pretty good distance probably like maybe 20 feet or so and Nick just shoots shoots the gun and hit Noah right in the face I think it was right below his eye like like the probably like right in the bone like right below your eye he hits him right there you know man down and um, from there Noah was obviously pissed off like as anybody would be he just shot him in the face for really no reason and he didn't even have a gun himself so and when you're supposed to be doing BB guns if you're like you know going against each other you're supposed to be wearing a mask too so you don't shoot each other in the face so he gets shot in the face and he's pissed off like he's he grabbed like there was like a little like a uh, tool not a toolbox but just like just a box in like the corner of the room that would have like a bunch of you know outdoor stuff you know one of them was like a uh, like this mallet for um i can't even think of the name but it's that game where you just like you hit those balls through the um the little rings you put into the ground i can't think of the name right now but it was one of the mallets from that game and um he just grabbed it and he's like charging at him swinging so he he has a mallet in his hand he's got a Nick's got a BB gun, and Nick's like, oh shit, he's charging at him, he's like shooting back, shot him in his stomach, I think, a few times and stuff, and like, from here, shit's getting pretty crazy, I'm like, and, th and my dad wasn't home right now, so, you know, because my dad doesn't get home from work probably until like 5 or 6, and we're home at around like 2, so, you know, shit's going down, you know, shit is escalating pretty quick, um, and I'm like, alright, I gotta defuse this situation here, so basically, uh, Noah's pissed off. Like we're all like, okay, chill. You know, we no, no, we're not fighting right now. And we, he like people are holding Noah back, people are holding Nick back, and it's like this giant brawl. And what eventually happened was, like Nick goes inside or whatever, and Noah's so pissed at him. Noah got his hands on the BB gun, and he's like inside. He goes inside my house, and he's like looking for Nick, going because he wants to shoot him back in the face. And Nick's like, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And I'm like, no, you're not shooting. And eventually Noah starts shooting the gun. I don't, I don't remember what he was shooting at, but he likes shooting the BB gun in my house. So I'm like, no way. So basically what ended up happening was I ended up like tackling him to the ground. I took the gun away. I got him in like a headlock and shit. And eventually I'm like, all right, get the fuck out of my house. Like we're not doing, we're not fucking shooting BB guns in my house. Like luckily he didn't like hit my TV or anything, but so I got him in a headlock. I, um, you know, grabbed him up. I threw him out the door and shit. I locked the door. And it was like one of those like tense situations, obviously, where like everybody's like, oh shit, you know, what's going down right now? And I'm over here like, this is my house, like I gotta fucking handle this shit. Like if it was somebody else's house, it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but it's not. So, you know, that happened and what ended up happening was Noah, uh, he called his mom or whatever, and his mom picked him up because, um, you know, we're in like, like a lot, we're in like ninth through 10th grade, so obviously we don't have other licenses or anything. So his mom picked him up or whatever, he went home. And he had like this like uh this giant mark right below his eye. I, I don't think it was bleeding though, because I didn't have to get any band-aids or anything, but I don't think it was bleeding, but it was a nice like, gash on like right below his eye. And yeah, that happened and then yeah. The night just pretty much went on after that. Um, you know, Zach, J Jacob, and Nick, we all just kinda hung out, played some Xbox, watched some TV. Watched some movies, um, had some soda, had some popcorn, you know, that good stuff. I pretty much just enjoyed the rest of the night, but that was a pretty interesting occurrence of, you know, when things go wrong. You know, shit can go bad pretty fast when, you know, stuff like that happens. So, yeah, that was my little story for today, guys. If you guys want to see more, you know, IRL story videos, definitely give the video a like. Or maybe a suggestion for a type of video I should do below. And let me know if you guys have ever had an occurrence like this before, you know, in your life. Just let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear some stories. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.